Okay, welcome, welcome, welcome to r, &R Network. Uh, I'm Roger, Lisa's over there. We'll take a quick look at what she's doing uh, in a second. But today we're gonna do a refrigerator check, see what's going on. Uh, we should be lowing, running low a little bit on supplies, but we'll take a look anyways, because uh, next week we're gonna go to uh, uh, Costco and maybe uh, Vons and maybe Food for Less to pick up some uh, needed supplies. So um, we'll take a quick tour of the kitchen, see what's going on. Um, Lisa came back from her uh, training today. Uh, we both volunteered to do a uh, pole, pole, pole worker center volunteer things. So she, she had her training today. I've got mine next week and uh, it was a long day for her. So, but we'll just take a quick look, see what she's got going on. And then we'll take a look at the fridge, see what's in there. Uh, a freezer, fridge, our fridge freezer. And then, uh, yeah, that'll be it. So we have Lisa and uh, my mom ch chatting and uh, doing the dog grooming, dog food stuff. And <coughs> we found out, or I double checked Momo's uh, pedigree. She's from Okinawa. So. Okinawa breed. Yeah. Okay, well, let's go take a look at the fridge. So, so this is fridge number one, freezer fridge number one in the house. We're not gonna look at that because uh, that's part of the other family. Well, mom and dad's fridge. Uh, let's take a look here. We're not gonna look at this. It's full of stuff. I don't even know what's in here, but this is the freezer again. Uh, mom and dad's Arthur's freezer. I guess we could take a quick look. Huh? Anyways, not much. We'll take a look at it another time. And then this is the other fridge freezer setup. This is ours. It's a little small, as you can see. So we'll start with the freezer. It should be emptied. We finished up all our supplies. <laughs> oh, I've got chicken in here still. Okay. My chicken I cook, so that's good for next week. Broccoli. I want to buy more broccoli. Salmon. Lisa's salmon. And that steamed dumpling. So we'll probably get more broccoli, more chicken uh, next week at the... Costco and then some fruits and berries here. Okay, let's take a look at the uh, down here. So, this is where we're overstocked. Uh, Lisa went to Costco and bought a lot of tortillas and cheese, and we've got a uh, what else do we got? Oh, oh, ham, cheese back there, and then um, let's see, this is my chicken, my broccoli that I pinched from Lisa, cottage cheese, dog food. Uh, I'll need to get more cottage cheese. I pound that stuff every day. Like it's no no one's business. Salmon I cooked up today. Uh, ground uh, beet uh, turkey, so I'll have to get some more uh, next week. Eggs, we've got a full stack. Of <laughs> uh, the expiration date might be closing in, so uh, yeah, we'll see how that goes. And then again, more tortillas. Lisa bought a lot of tortillas. I don't know what's gonna happen here. Um, I don't usually eat tortillas in that spot, so I hope they don't go bad. Um, this is a, a homemade uh, carbonated water. I didn't put any flavoring in it yet. This one has flavoring. We've got two gallons of milk here, a little bit much. Um, and then the empty one here, so no milk next week. This is Greek yogurt, which we'll have to finish up because she doesn't eat Greek yogurt much anymore. And then my stash of soda, and then uh, my protein for tomorrow protein shake so that's kind of the quick tour of our fridge it's gonna oh and fruit we've got a japanese or pear asian pear i guess in japan we call them nashi in yeah in korea i think it's called uh i don't know uh but yeah so this is our fridge it's gonna get stacked or stocked next week and uh we'll probably maybe take a tour of uh, or a video of uh uh the uh costco so that's it time to eat.